Hi everybody, I'm Greta with the Columbus Public Library here with another Simple Steps story time. Do you remember the five simple steps? Talk, sing, read, write, and play. Those are the five things you can do so your brain is really strong and really smart. And today, of course, we're going to read. That's a very important simple step. And I've got two great books I'm going to share with you. The first one is this one here. Before We Eat, From Farm to Table, written by Pat Bryson, she's the author, she wrote the words, and illustrated by Mary Ozerain, illustrator. She's the one who drew all the pictures. So those two came together to create this great book. Now before I read it, I want you to think about something. What did you have for breakfast? Can you remember? Well... I had oatmeal with some blueberries and a little bit of milk and some orange juice. And I get all of my food from the grocery store. I bet you get most of your food from the grocery store too. And I don't usually think about where it came from before that, but there are a lot of important people that help make sure we get that food from the farms to our grocery stores and into our homes. And that's what this book is about. So let's read Before We Eat from Farm to Table. As we sit around this table, let's give thanks as we are able to all the folks we'll never meet who helped provide this food we eat. They plowed the ground and planted seeds. Tended fields, removed the weeds. That's the hard work. They picked the food at harvest time, working in the heat and grime. They grazed the cattle, fed the sows. Look at all those mama pigs and their babies. Gathered eggs and milked the cows. They fished from boats out on the seas, raised wheat and nuts and honeybees. Thank the ones who packed the crates, sorted boxes, checked the weights. Thank the drivers on the roads in their trucks with heavy loads. and all the clerks at all the stores who did the grocery selling chores. Thank the ones who bought this food, the ones that teach me gratitude. Sitting at this meal we share, we are grateful and aware, sending thanks upon the air to those workers everywhere. The end. I love the last few lines in that book. Sending thanks upon the air to those workers everywhere. I think now I'll remember more to be grateful for all the hard work that goes to getting food from the farm to my table. Now, I have another book I'm going to share with you today, but this book is a bilingual book. Bilingual means two languages. And this book is written in Spanish and in English. It's called Gracias, Thanks. But I don't speak Spanish. Sadly, I don't speak Spanish. But I have a friend named Sam who does. So she's going to come and help me read this book by Pat Mora. Let me introduce you to Sam. Hola, amigos. Mi nombre es Sam y trabajo en el Columbus Public Library. Hi, friends. My name is Sam and I work at the Columbus Public Library. Hoy vamos a leer Gracias, Thanks por Pat Mora y Ilustraciones por John Cara. Today we're going to read Gracias, Thanks by Pat Mora and the illustrations are by John Cara. Okay, let's get started. Vamos a empezar. 
por el sol que me despierta y no permite que siga durmiendo por años y años y que me crezca una larga barba blanca. Gracias. For the sun that wakes me up so I don't sleep for years and years and grow a long white beard. Thanks. Por la mariquita que se posó en mi dedo, una pequeña sorpresa voladora roja. Gracias. For the ladybug that landed on my finger, a little red flying surprise. Thanks. Por las olas espumosas que nos persiguen a mí y a mi hermana y a veces corren hacia nosotros con un rápido plaf. Gracias. For the foamy waves that chase my sister and me and sometimes dash after us with a fast splash. Thanks. Por las abejas que no me picaron y convirtieron en un alfiletero. Gracias. For the bees that didn't sting me and turn me into a pincushion. Thanks. Por abuelita que siempre me guiña y me da un dólar cuando nadie nos está mirando. Gracias. For abuelita who always winks and gives me a dollar when nobody's looking. Thanks. Por mi amigo Billy que me enseñó el libro sobre el niño gigante que pone a sus padres pequeñitos en la cima de un gran árbol cuando ellos se portan mal. Gracias. For my friend Billy, who showed me the book about a boy giant who puts his parents on top of a tall tree when they misbehave. Thanks. Por los gusanos que atrajeron al gran pez que tiró de mi hilo de pescar. Gracias. For the worms that brought me the big fish to tug on my line. Thanks. Por mi hermanito que le lanzó su puré de chícaros a mi hermana y me hizo reír tanto que me caí de la silla. Gracias. For my little brother who threw mashed peas at my sister and made me laugh so hard I fell off my chair. Thanks. Por mamá que encontró mi tarea en la basura. Gracias. For my mom who found my homework in the trash. <gasps> Thanks. Por la música de mi tío y su guitarra que convierte a nuestros perros en cantantes aulladores. Gracias. For the music of my uncle and his guitar that turns our dogs into howling singers. Thanks. Por mi familia que aplaudió y siguió aplaudiendo cuando me caí en el escenario durante nuestra obra de teatro escolar. Gracias. For my family, who clapped and clapped, even when I tripped on the stage in the school play. Thanks. Por el chocolate que papá derrite hasta que se convierte en un líquido espeso, que llamamos lodo tibio cuando lo vertemos sobre el helado de vanilla. Gracias. For the chocolate. Dad melts into thick syrup we call warm mud when we pour it on vanilla ice cream. Mmm, thanks. Por mis pijamas viejos, tan suaves que me siento como si me estuviera poniendo aire. Gracias. For my old pajamas, so soft they feel like I'm putting on air. Thanks. Por el grillo escondido que nos canta una serenata antes de dormir. Gracias. And for the cricket, hiding when he serenades us to sleep. Thanks. Thanks, Sam. I think it's so cool that Sam can speak Spanish and English. And I think I might start trying to learn some more Spanish 
so I can be a little bit bilingual too. Now, the cool thing about this book is the way he lists all the things that make him thankful, it really makes you feel kind of happy when you think about all of the things you have to be thankful, whether it's something simple or something really big. Next, I'm going to show you a game you can play with your family and your friends that's all about play and talk, two of our simple steps. That also helps you recognize and have conversations about the things that you're thankful for. It's called the gracias game or the thank you game. It's easy to play. Here's how you do it. The gracias game is an easy one to make for your family. Get a piece of paper and get some markers or crayons, five different colors. I've got five different markers here and I'm going to make the rules of the game, which are very simple. If you pick a green marker, you talk about the food you're thankful for. If it's purple, it's a person. If it's orange, it's a place. If it's blue, it's a thing. And if you pick the red one, it's free choice. You get to talk about whatever you want that you're grateful for. You can change up your colors and change up your topics to fit your family. So I'm going to take my objects, put them in the bag, and then we'll see who goes first. First person's turn, stick your hand in the bag, pull out, no peeking, pull out a color, just one. <gasps> I got red. So I look at my key and my red, <gasps> lucky me, it's free choice. So if I were playing with this and I was with you at your house, I would probably tell you that I'm thankful for books because I really am. And I'm thankful that you joined us for story time today. Y'all have a great time playing the thankful game. And remember, sing, talk, read, write, and play. Bye, everybody. 90% of brain growth happens before kindergarten, 90%. So talk, sing, read, write, and play with your child every day. Those five simple steps build the foundation for a lifetime of learning.